Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading for the 15th to the 22nd of June. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive into your reading and see what is going on. The amulet you got this week is Empress uh, with the Rose Quartz and the Amethyst. Empress amulet, when I designed it, I was designing it after the Empress in Tarot. So I want you to remember that you have the power. You have the energy. You have the abundance. You have everything within you, okay? The Empress, in my opinion, encompasses the High Priestess uh, and all four uh, queens. You are like the be-all, end-all. You are like the everything, okay? And I want you to stop being afraid of what could go wrong and start focusing on what is truly actually coming in here for you, okay? Because it's been a long time coming, my love. This week, you're actually going to be tested a little bit, uh, tested in your ability to truly believe in yourself. And it's not happening as a form of punishment, but rather source, the universe wants you to see that like what you want, wants you, okay? That's a lot of cards. Can I get four more, please? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. What, two more, please? Mm -hmm. What did I tell you? This. You need to remember that you are this. You are the high priestess. Behind the High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles. Collaborating, working together, remembering. Remembering your power is a big theme this week for you. For a long time, Pisces, you've been, you know, struggling. And fair enough, you know, I get it. You know, Saturn's in, your, in, in, in Pisces right now. It's teaching you a lot of things about yourself. Yeah, perseverance is one of them. And it's right here. It's also teaching you success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. See, with the five of wands, I feel like you're trying to fight something instead of give it the space. I know. You're trying to fight something instead of giving it the space to flourish. This is something that is extremely emotionally fulfilling for you. This is like a dream come true. Uh, this is a wish fulfillment. This is something you've been asking for for a long time. The mystic rose, compassion, devotion, humility, humanity, grace. You're such a powerful being, Pisces, and I think sometimes you forget that because this world isn't like the divine realms, right? Like this world's very different. And I'm a Pisces as well. I get it, right? Like I'm a Pisces moon rising. Sometimes we forget how powerful we are because this world doesn't operate the same way as like the other worlds do, the worlds that we're used to, right? Um, with a five of wands, I want you to stop thinking about this as a hurdle, as an obstacle, as something difficult. And I want you to start looking at this as an opportunity for you to recognize and realize that with hard work, comes an opportunity for you to see the fruits of your labor, your rewards, okay? And I know that maybe right now it might not be feeling that way. You may be turning around and saying, well, Charlotte, I'm doing all these things and nothing's really working out or nothing's aligning and so on and so forth. And just be patient. And also look at like the little moments of gratitude as well. With that nine of cups here, there's something coming in for you something that is going to be extremely emotionally fulfilling. It could have to do with legal works, contracts, documentation, or a person who very much represents the king of swords. Um, logical, rational, balanced, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. With the hanged man here, this week, your job is to sit in the Empress energy and sit back and wait. I said, sit back and wait. Don't act, don't react, sit back and wait. Let the message come through to you with that page of swords and the moon. Don't get yourself up in a huff. Don't get yourself up defensive. Don't let your illusions, your delusions, your fears, your self-limiting beliefs stop you from seeing what's in front of you, okay? Just give yourself the grace and remember that you are the empress. You are tapping into empress energy, not anybody else, okay? You. 
for some of you, this has to do with a situation, a person that maybe you've been talking to or have a crush on or you both have kind of been eyeing each other. For others of you, this has to do with legal stuff. And for others of you, this has to do with your business. This is a week where you're really, really going to be um, asked to... Uh, you know, review as to ask. It could have to do with the new moon in Gemini, the communication. I mean, we do have Gemini twice here with the King of Swords and the Page of Swords. Gemini and, and the Neptune fog that's going to be placed over this new moon in Gemini. You know, things may not necessarily be clear. Yeah, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Like, what do you want in your life, Gemini, uh, Pisces? What do you want? Like, what will that look like for you? Right, those are the questions you have to ask yourself. Is that what you want? Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Is it with this person? Oh, I forgot to talk about the the astrology card. The astrology card is Jupiter, which is also your co-ruling planet if we look at traditional astrology, and Sagittarius. It's the house of higher learning, elevated thought, it's expansion, long distance travel foreign languages, inspiration, publications, higher education, spirituality, uh, philosophy, religion, ideals, morals, ethics. This is like you're being really tested here to really acknowledge and, and remember your own philosophy in life. You tell everybody else to be optimistic, to trust the process, to be dreamy, to be all these things. And guess what, babe? You're being asked to do that this week. This week, you're being asked to do that. And it feels really uncomfortable to be on this side of the equation. Hi, Priestess, again. This is not coming out because of whatever reason. You know. So just accept it. Just, you know, just accept it. Engagement. of wands yeah somebody may be making their move towards you and you may feel like it's not fast enough or you feel like it's unrequited love it's not that it's unrequited love it's just that you gotta let the stars align does that make sense magician stay optimistic manifest my love manifest use this new moon on the 17th 18th to manifest okay to envision to dream to plant the seeds it is an opportunity here for you to really dive into this connection to yourself, to really tune into your inner high priestess Pisces. It's a very powerful reading about reclaiming your power, Pisces. This is all about you aligning with your highest self. Um, I actually have a course that helps you with aligning with your soul purpose and life purpose. I don't talk a lot about it in these readings unless I feel called to it. I feel really called to talk about it with you. Um, the link is in the description box below. There's a payment plan. It's a nine-week transformative course. It'll help you align with your life purpose, your soul purpose. You'll be able to attract love, manifest effortlessly. It's all about tuning in and tapping into you and your highest expression. It's a really, really powerful course that you get to do on your own time. Um, and then you get a session with me as well as part of it. This is, this is you remembering you. Mm -hmm. This is you remembering your power, even with the Empress, even though we didn't get the Empress Tarot, this is all about you tuning into the internal abundance, the internal knowledge. It's almost like you're having to peel away these layers and remember who you truly are. And I think that's why I'm so called to tell you about the Align course. Um, so if you want to enroll in that, take a look at the description box below. Or alternatively, you can book a discovery call with me for a half hour and I can help you map out what the next stage is here. Because I really feel like whatever you're going through right now is like massively transformative on a whole like otherworldly scale it is really really big all right Pisces I'm going to move on to Aries now if you want to book a session do the discovery call uh, take a look at the description box below um, go watch this video I'm going to put here for you as well uh, where the it's all about like a sign that a major breakthrough is coming I really feel like that's what's happening right now for you all right we will see you later alligator peace out bye